What's up ladies and gentlemen, Universal Mastery. Welcome back to my channel. What I do here is I break down the occult sciences and I break them down to a practical level so that you can use them and apply them in your day-to-day -day life and get real actual results with what I'm teaching by simply applying your awareness, okay? Um, so without further ado, let me give you some clarity on who I am. My name is Jeremiah Schwartz. I am a professional occultist who is fully initiated in Kabbalah, being the front side of the tree and the back side. I'm studying when it comes to the 22 archetypal paths of Kabbalah as well. And I'm also studying when it comes to planetary energies in regards to astrology. And I'm making this clear just so that you know you're getting this information from an actual experienced practitioner. Okay? So, what is the topic of today's video? So this is something that, you know, just kind of like came to my mind. Uh, it's something that's extremely important at the same time. And it is something that I've personally applied myself. And once again, this is not really talked about by too many people. Um, but I personally know that this is a very, very, very powerful tool if you use it. And I'm going to be explaining um, in depth about the subject of this video. So the subject of the video is going to be in regards to source and making a deal with source. So basically what I'm saying is I'm going to be talking about what making a deal with source actually means for your own spiritual and self evolution. Okay? So I'm going to be going into depth about this. So if you want to know why you would want to make a deal with source, if you want to know what's going to happen when you do make a deal with source, if you want to know a little bit more about source, then this is your video. So stay tuned. So here we go. So making a deal with source, okay? First thing first, if you don't know what source is, then what I would recommend to get a really in-depth understanding is just scrolling through my channel and you'll eventually come across a video that says source, what is it? Something along those lines, like what is source? And watch that video because I spend the entire video explaining what source means and what it is and what it represents. But just in a nutshell for this video to give you somewhat of an idea, if you don't understand, source is evolution. Okay, Source is an energy that runs through everything and has created everything in the megaverse to interact with itself. Okay, So that's essentially what source is. Okay? It is evolution. So with that being said, now that we understand in a nutshell what source is, now what is making a deal? What does that really mean? Okay, so we know in our day-to-day -day life, you know, when you make deals with people, it's usually like in regards to business or in regards to some form of trust so that either you or you and the person you're making the deal with, usually it's a win-win, are both, are both getting value. That's usually why you would make a deal with somebody. It's like, hey, we're going to make this deal. That means we're going to commit to something. And that's where the deal is coming into play to help further both of our lives in some way, right? That's usually what a deal is, right? So what does it mean when you're making an occult deal, a hidden deal, a spiritual deal? So in regards to spirits, and once again, if you want to know more about making deals with spirits, just scroll through my channel and there are certain videos that are titled around that nature because I've made entire videos covering these types of subjects, okay, in regards to making deals with spirits. But in a nutshell, making a deal with a spirit or an energy, an archetypal energy, is basically calling 
that spirit or that archetypal energy and then saying that you are willing, ready, and able to do whatever it takes to develop the power, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of that spirit or of that archetypal energy. So when you go to make a deal with something like that, one, that should be the intention is to gain the value from the spirit or from the energy. That's first the most important thing. But then you are now opening up a, let's say a doorway or a gateway to start seeing changes happen around you in your actual physical reality, in your life. Because you're working with an energy, an energetic current, a spirit, and you're approaching it saying, I'm going to make this deal with you and I'm going to commit myself until I get the value that I'm looking to get from this deal that I'm making. So whatever that archetypal energy has to offer or whatever that spirit has to offer, you're not going to stop going through the experience and going through the challenge until you get what it is that you want from the spirit or the archetypal energy, which is going to be valuable for you. Okay. That's essentially what making a deal would be in the occult field, uh, in a nutshell. Now, what does it mean to make a deal with source? Okay. This is very profound. So making a deal with source is literally going to be like similar to making a deal with a spirit. It would be a, and when I say similar, I mean similar in concept. It's not the same thing for sure. It's way different, but similar in concept. You're making a deal with evolution itself, source, saying you are ready, willing, and able to do whatever it takes to achieve the source within yourself because that is the potential of the human being. We as human beings living on earth have a potential that all these other extra, extraterrestrial races do not have. And that potential is to literally achieve the source within ourselves. Okay. Which means we can link into the multiverse, go beyond the multiverse, tap into the megaverse and literally psychically, spiritually link once again, our soul and our spirits together to the current of source and literally become source itself in a physical embodiment. And that is what it means to achieve the source within. And this is the ultimate goal for any human being, especially if you're in the occult field and you're getting into initiations. This is the ultimate goal of high magic is to achieve the source within yourself. Okay. So when you make a deal with source, whenever you make that deal, I would recommend making this deal before you get into any initiatory process or initiatory system, mainly because you will eliminate a lot of the nonsense and a lot of the distraction that could potentially take you off course and leave you stuck in chaos. So when you make a deal with source, you're once again, you're making a deal with evolution. So you're making a deal with the evolutionary aspect, the source aspect that is within yourself. So when you hear people talk about your higher self, your holy guardian angel, your daemon, that is the source aspect of yourself. That's the most powerful current and I'm going to say this, that is the most powerful current of energy within yourself and it is directly connected to you. 
and you are directly connected to it. It is you and you are it. So, when you make a deal with Source saying that you are now ready, willing, and able to do whatever it takes to achieve the Source within you, whether you're making this deal intentionally just by setting this intention and actually meeting it or whether you're actually setting it up in a ritualistic form, either way is going to be very profound. Even more so if you're setting it into a ritualistic format, writing it on paper, setting up your circle of the magician, you know, incorporating ritualistic uh, tools, whatever it may be. When you make that deal, you're going to lock yourself into a specific timeline. Okay, so the human being, every human being has multiple timelines that are attached to their physical body and that are attached to their bioplasmic energy field and also attached to their soul body. There are multiple timelines that you could potentially go down. And this is why chaos exists. And this is why chaos tries to distract and pull you into and lock you into specific timelines that lead to your degradation. Okay? And this is why, you know, in regards to higher level black magicians, um, that feed off of chaos because that's, you know, in regards to the inner Illuminati's, Sanhedrin's, Rothschild, Jews, royal families, in regards to them, they feed off chaos because that's how they profit. At least they used to. They're, they're burning right now. Okay, it's, everything's changing right now. But this is how it used to work. That's why they need you in chaos. That's why there's so much chaos and so much inversion in the world around us today. Confusion. Because if they can lock you into specific timelines that they've created, then the end point of that timeline leads to your degradation and being drained dry of energy, which includes sexual energy, money energy, and life force. So the point is, is there's multiple timelines. Now, when you make a deal with Source, you're making a deal to lock yourself into one timeline. One timeline. And that timeline, if this deal is being made with Source, is going to lock you into the only timeline where you achieve the Source. And it will slowly and surely eliminate and make less probable the other timelines that could potentially take you into paths of complete degradation. Okay? So that's what making a deal with Source will do in a nutshell. Now you may think to yourself right now, wow, that sounds like a great thing. I'm going to go do that right now. I'm going to go make sure I do this. I'm going to start telling people to do this. I mean, why hasn't this been talked about before? If it's that easy, you know, if you can just make a deal with Source and then you're guaranteed to achieve the Source within you, then, you know, I'm going to do that right now. And why hasn't it been taught before? Well, here's the reality behind when you make a deal with Source before you just jump right into doing that. Essentially, what you're doing is you're making a deal with yourself. Once again, the, the, the highest, I don't even want to say highest, the most powerful aspect of yourself. You're making a deal with the most powerful aspect of yourself to say and set in stone, you are ready, willing, and able. These three primary words, ready, willing, and able to do whatever it takes to achieve the source within you. So that means to go down the path of high magic 
and essentially do whatever it takes to be successful on that path. And yes, other timelines will get diminished when you make that decision to make that deal with Source. Doesn't mean that they will, they still don't exist, but they, if let's say you make this deal with Source and you start to stray off the, the proper timeline and you go into a chaotic timeline, you, you, it, you, will, you can still fall into that timeline, but eventually that deal that you've made with Source, obviously if you really did it and you really meant it and you really set that intention and locked it in, Source will pull you back eventually to the proper timeline. And obviously, that is going to require extreme amounts of discipline and extreme amounts of seriousness into achieving this state, the ultimate state. So before you go jumping and thinking that this is like a solve it all deal here, you want to understand exactly what will start happening when you do this. So here's what would happen. Your life is not going to get easier. It's going to get considerably more challenging. There is going to be more pushback. You are going to become more sensitive to energies. And you are going to have to understand that although your ego or your self-importance may want to do something over here, if that's not in alignment, if that's not in the timeline of source, source will say, I don't give a fuck about your ego. We're going here. And that can be very uncomfortable because your ego or your self-importance may think that you want to do this because this makes you feel good. But then source can harshly correct you and say, yep, you think that's what's going on, but this is where you're going to be today. Or this is what you're going to do for the next year. And that can be tough. So you have to be ready, willing, and able to listen to that correcting, that course correcting. And um, when you make a deal with source, chaos is going to challenge you immediately. You're going to start to see the chaos around you way more clearly. Just like the all the ancient shamans. All the ancient shamans, the most powerful ancient shamans, talk about a chaotic force that runs the world or that exists throughout the mass collective around the world. They all talk about it. You're going to start seeing that force, okay? Because you're now walking the path of ultimate power. So you're going to start becoming aware that chaos is actually around you at all times. And it will try to challenge you and it will try to stop you from achieving that source. Now the reason why chaos will become more present or at least you'll be much more aware of the chaos around you when you make this deal to achieve the source is because that's what comes with becoming the source. You have to know about chaos and when you decide and make that deal to eliminate all the other chaotic timelines, obviously that is upsetting, extremely upsetting to the chaos entity, the chaos force. So it will try to stop you. And the only way the person can be stopped who is on that path of achieving the source within them is if they stop themselves, is if they give up, is if they kill themselves. Literally, that's pretty much it. Other than that, there is nothing that can stop you. The only thing that can stop you is if you end your own life. That is literally the only thing. If you make this deal with Source, you will be locked into a timeline that will get you to achieving the Source within you at some point in time depending on how impeccable you are, depending on how much of a warrior spirit you have, depending on how ruthless you can be, depends on how fast you'll be able to achieve that. But when you make this deal, your life will get considerably harder and more challenging. 
and you will be forced to become a lot more aware of your surroundings, of your environment, and how very subtle energies move around you. Now that I've made it clear what will happen when you make this deal, there are many, many, many benefits. And when I say many, that's not even the right word. I mean, many, like extremely major benefits that come once you actually achieve the source. And even once you get the idea that source is guiding you where you need to go, and once you learn how to put your self-importance to the side, and once you learn how to put your ego to the side and just listen to it, even if it's not what you feel like doing all the time, or even if it's not what you want to do all the time, the more you can start to understand and see that you're locked into that evolutionary timeline, over time that builds a level of confidence, it builds a level of happy, inner, inner deep inner happiness because you know everything you're doing is getting you to a higher position of your own self-development and your own spiritual self-evolution, leading you to your ultimate power, which is achieving the source within you. So that is the benefit. But once again, when you go to make that deal, your life will get way more challenging and you will immediately be thrusted into forms of path working that will once again immediately start taking place. And the only thing that can stop you is you giving up. So if you don't have what it takes and you don't have a foundation, I wouldn't recommend making this deal with evolution itself. I wouldn't recommend making the deal with the highest aspect of yourself or the most powerful aspect of yourself yet until you have a foundation, a readiness, a willingness, and an ableness to proceed forward at any cost. Okay? Um, this deal that I'm talking about, I believe, is one of the most important starting conditions and one of the most important things you can do if you're taking your occult self-development seriously and especially especially if you're going to be walking down the path of high magic 100 percent sure that this what i'm explaining right now is going to be one of the most necessary things to do before going down the path of high magic if if you just want to do low magic then i would stay away from this video I would stay away from making a deal with source because low magic is just about controlling the world around you. Um, but then you have to be aware that there's going to be, you know, other magicians or other shamans or other seers out there, occultists, that are going to be way more powerful than you if you just stay in low magic. So you just, you know, it's up to you. But if you decide you want to evolve and you want to reach your highest potential, which is going to be purpose-driven, it's going to lead you to literally the reason why you're here, this is what I believe 100%, I did it myself, is what's necessary to be successful. Because the path of high magic is not an easy walkthrough. It is a ancient form of archetypal energies that are in regards to the 22 archetypal tarot and there are programmed energies that are meant to stop you and if you don't have that connection with evolution within yourself to evolution your own personal evolution and earth's evolution it's one in the same as within as without as above, so below, then you are going to be at a much higher risk of falling into a timeline that leads to degradation, chaos. So that's what I'm going to leave it at. Um, in regards to how can you, you know, make this deal? Uh, once again, you know, you can make it your own creative way. What I would recommend is creating your circle of the magician, which is I teach you how to do that. 
uh, in my Patreon. So if you want to know how to make the Circle of the Magician, you can go to my Patreon. I have an entire written post on how you can do it and what it does. And then I have videos where I'm actually showing it on video, like my own, and how it's all set up and what it means. Um, I would create the Circle of the Magician. I would write out on a piece of paper um, in a contract format saying, I state your name and making a deal with the source within myself to achieve my highest and most powerful potential to achieve the source within myself. And then at the very end or at the very bottom of this piece of paper, sign your name, just like a contract, signing that deal. And if you want, you can get like these little, these little pricks. You can buy them at Walmart. They're for testing your blood. Uh, a lot of people use them for checking if you have ketones in your blood. It's just like a little pin, almost like a thumbtack, even smaller. And you just prick it on your finger, make your finger bleed, put it on your name, put it on the source aspect of the source within yourself, achieving the source within yourself, put it on that. And then simply have your, um, within your triangle of art outside of it, there's going to be, or excuse me, within your circle, the magician outside of it is going to be your triangle of art, which is three smoky quartz crystals that you put in a triangle formation. Once again, I teach you about that on my Patreon. You want to take this piece of paper, this contract, have your triangle of art pointed towards the south, the realm of your soul and the astral plane, time like space. Have it pointed towards the south and then burn this piece of paper within that triangle. Okay? And uh, even before you burn it, you can read over what you've stated five times. Five linking you into the pentagram, which stands for earth, fire, water, air, and spirit. So state it five times, then burn it in your triangle, point it towards the south, standing inside of your circle. That simple. Done. And this can take a very profound effect, but once again, do not do this if you're not ready to start going through some serious transformation, because your life will get harder. But you will be forced to get to your highest potential. So it's it's just up to you and what kind of person you are. But if you're already considering going down the path of high magic, uh, pursuing clebothic tunnels of set initiation, I would highly recommend getting into uh, this practice of making this deal with Source. Okay, and then later down the road as well, I'm actually going to be teaching this on Patreon when I get to the section where I'm going to be making a clebothic initiation course. That's a whole nother story though, that's a whole nother deal, and that will be coming down the road, you know, months from now, but when I get to that, it's going to be very profound and I will teach it on camera. Okay, I will demonstrate it. Now, other than that, this is going to wrap it up, so I'm going to leave it here. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up, uh, hit the notification bell because I post videos as often as I can, and definitely make sure you hit the subscribe button because I love to see my subscribers shoot through the roof. Definitely make sure you go and you check out the Patreon. Where you can find the Patreon is if you go to the description of this YouTube video, you're going to click that drop down, and it's going to be that very first link at the top. Okay, it literally says my Patreon right next to it. Click that link, um, and then what you're going to see is you're going to see four tiers. Okay, so I have exclusive content on my Patreon um, in regards to the Kabbalistic tree. So I break down all the spheres, and this is going to be the backbone of occult initiation. Okay, this is very important to understand, and this is what runs any occult initiations that you've ever heard of is this Kabbalistic tree structure. Okay, so I break down all the spheres. I give you the symbolism associated with them. I give you the spirits connected with them. And then I give you my own personal experience having initiated through it myself, which is very valuable information. Okay, um, so in order, in order to gain access to that content and extra content, I'll let you check that out for yourself. You have to at least be a tier two member. Okay. Um, in order to be a tier two, it costs $9.95 a month. 
And if you do the math, that will literally come out to less than a dollar a day. So there is absolutely no reason why you shouldn't be able to afford that, especially with the value that I have on there. And that is a fact uh, and a promise from me to you, okay? Um, now, as you move up to tier three, you are going to gain access to my magic training course where I'm going to be going through necromancy. I teach you how to charge your crystals. I teach you how to set up your circle of the magician where it's all demonstrated on camera. I'm doing necromancy on camera. I'm teaching you how to spell cast on camera. Uh, we're also going to be going through angel magic. We're going to be going through demon magic. And then I'm going to be teaching you how to perform a very potent spell, okay? So that you can use low magic uh, to your uh, best ability. Control the world around you. See how powerful the occult really is. And this is going to prep you for the people that are really taking it serious. This will prep you gain, to gain power to then pursue high magic. And then that's when I will release courses on the clip off. But in order to gain magic or in order to gain access to the magic training course, you have to at least be a tier uh, three member. Okay. Now, tier four. So to be a tier four, this is an actual service that I perform for you in a ritualistic format. So I perform this service on the 29th of every month. So there is a couple months where there is no 29th. So uh, that is going to be uh, the only month where I do it on a different day. Um, I haven't got to that month yet. So uh, I, I'm going to choose the, the day very specifically though, so it can link into Kabbalah. Um, but I use, I do this ritual on the 29th to connect us to the number 11, which is the hidden sphere on the tree, Daph, the gateway. Um, and the service is programmed to change the person's that has the service to change their energy field to be more receptive, to move them more so from a universe A dominant energetic perspective to then transform that into a more universe B dominant perspective, energetic influence, where instead of always pushing outwards and instead of always pushing energy into chaos, you're now able to receive and suck in energy from chaos and take from chaos and increase your power in all ways. This can also increase your ability to achieve the source within yourself. And I think this service is absolutely necessary to get 100% effect rates for the magic training course that I have that you gain access to at tier three. Okay. Um, it's called The Vampire Service. You can click on it and you can read more about it. I even have an entire video where I explain what this service does for you. It's a very powerful service, okay? Um, so yeah, so that's gonna be available at tier four, okay? With that being said, I would love to give a special shout out to all the tier four members. Their names are gonna be mentioned in parentheses below that Patreon link. So huge shout out to all of you, ladies and gentlemen that have that top tier service. I highly appreciate you for really taking your practices to that next level. As I was saying, it's important for you, it's important for me, and it's important for uh, evolution in general. Um, so next thing that I would like to say is a huge shout out to all of my Patreon members in general. I highly appreciate all of you for taking your knowledge and your practices to that next step as well. So huge shout out to all of you that are a part of the Patreon. Next shout out I would like to give is to all my YouTube subscribers. I appreciate all of you for tuning into the content. Uh, and then the next thing I would like to say is check out the second link below in the description. That's going to take you to a link that says square appointments. And right there you can book your own tarot reading with me. So I do tarot in a very different way than what most people do. It's not just your typical traditional reading. Although it's going to have tr uh, traditional aspects to it for sure, it's going to be more so of an intuitive and a subjective reading. So I'm really able to break down these cards and link into you and tell you things that I feel like I need to say uh, that are intuitively based that some people would be too afraid to speak on or whatever. Uh, and I give it to you exactly how you need to hear it. And I don't sugarcoat anything in my reading. And the most uh, unique part about the reading is I can locate where you are in your spiritual evolutionary journey in regards to the Kabbalistic tree of life. So I can literally figure out where you are and what you're experiencing 
you know, in the present moment and then what you're going to be experiencing in the near future and long-term future. So I can let you know what to look out for potentially what's coming, things of that nature. So if you would like to book that reading with me, once again, you're going to be able to do that at the second link below. It says square appointments. Just go ahead, book your appointment, and then we'll get on with the reading. Um, and yeah, that's going to wrap it up. So far, I've done a bunch of readings. Um, I don't do it full time. I do it I do it for fun. I mean, it, like, it, I just do it for fun. Um, I, this service has been pretty new. Uh, I've had the service out for, I want to say, about four months now, and I've done about, I want to say, 70-ish readings. Um, and as I said, it's been fun. I like to do them. Um, I don't do it full-time, and I will not do it full-time because, you know, I've got other stuff I need to do. But once again, you know, I like doing them, and I see that it really offers a lot of people value. Okay. Um, so yeah, so that's where I'm going to leave it. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day or night, wherever you are. And I will see you on the next video. Peace.